स्टूडेंट्स वी लर्न द फॉर्मेट ऑफ डायरेक्ट मेथड एंड इनडायरेक्ट मेथड नाउ लेट इज वर्क आउट ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन डायरेक्ट मेथड सो वन एग्जाम्पल इज टेकन हियर देर इज ए कैश बुक ऑफ सिद्धांत लर्निंग सोल्यूशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड इट्स रिसिप्ट एंड पेमेंट आर गिवन लेट इज क्विकली ग्लैंस इट ओपनिंग बैलेंस देन देर इज ए कैश सेल्स देर इज डेटर्स इंटरेस्ट ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट बिल्डिंग शेयर कैपिटल सिक्योरिटी प्रीमियम Creditors, salary, selling expenses, machinery, preferential capital, debenture interest, and closing balance. If you observe these debits and credits, as you know, any cash book debit side are receipts. All these are receipts. Opening balance and receipts. On the credit side, all these are payments. The last one is the closing balance. With the help of this, we have to prepare cash flow statement under. under as3 as per accounting standard 3 which method under which method we have to apply is it direct method or indirect method to work direct method i should have profit i should have some p and l account there is no such items here there is no profit before tax therefore it is not indirect method it is direct method how do you go about it what is the logic we have to arrive what this ending we are going to learn is opening balance of 5 crores Ending is twenty-two crores. Why there is increase of seventeen crores, or the increase of seventeen crores is justified or not? In other words, the increase of seventeen crores through which activity? I know there is seventeen crores the increase, but which activity resulted into what plus or minus? You know there are three baskets. Can you recall what are the three baskets? Red colored, blue colored, and green colored. operating investing and financing i need to know what money generated in the first second investing and third the financing how do you do it very simple this all your items receipts and payment before going to the working of formats let us put in three categories what is that operating activity items what are those are investing items what are financing items operating activities are directly or indirectly related to goods and service so let us look at here what are the goods and services related cash sale obviously you agree it is related to operating goods debtors collection from customers again related to credit sale sale goods interest and investment no these are all related to other activity if you take here creditors related to goods salaries yes related to goods and services selling expense related to goods and service either purchase or sale related now these three categories here and these two categories here all related to operating activity i will call this as oa what do we call it operating activity now let us look at the next one related to your investing activity long term assets related is it long term assets related yes yes here machinery yes preferential capital no so machinery building and interest on investment investment is long term investments so these two are collections that is one payment collection here is about receipt building means cash or bank to building what is the meaning you got cash and building gone out it is a sale of building you got money same way you purchased machinery machine coming in whereas cash going out that's why that's why it is on the credit side so let us take this on the other activity these are investing activity what activity we will call it investing activity ia we will call this investing activity so what is left out at the end obviously has to be financing related to long term funds so there is share capital yes security premium yes preferential capital preferential capital is nothing but a long term source of finance debenture interest also yes these two and these two items are financing activity so you know what is operating you know what is investing what is financing that you have to classify see your fund flow classifies as sources and applications plus minus whereas your cash flow classifies as plus and minus in three baskets that is operating investing financing both plus and minus should come under same right sign properly but under separate activity we consider so let us solve this first operating activity shall we fill the answer first collections obviously you agree with me cash sales and debtors are related to collections 
कलेक्शन फ्रॉम कस्टमर्स वन इज कैश सेल थर्टी क्रोर्स डेटर्स कलेक्शन डेटर्स ट्वेंटी इमीडिएटली यू कलेक्टेड गिवन सम टाइम टू यूर कस्टमर्स क्रेडिट सेल्स फ्रॉम देर यू कलेक्टेड ट्वेंटी क्रोर्स इन दर टोटल कलेक्शन फिफ्टी क्रोर्स rupees in crores so you have tried cash from operating activity direct method all that format collection from customer just the same format i have taken here i am just filling the values payment to suppliers now i have to check the payments there is creditors payment suppliers payment is 15 there is salaries payment 12 i have taken this item there is selling expenses of 5 it means All three put together, fifteen plus twelve plus seven, twenty-seven plus five, thirty-two. It means collections during the year from customers is fifty fifty crores. My various payments during the year for employees, for supplier of materials or goods, and for other expenses like here selling, thirty-two crores grown. So I remain with eighteen crores. tax speed is not there zero extraordinary item is not specified it is not there you end up with 18 crores so i got cash from operating activity 18 crores students now i have to present investing activity so all my collections and payment related to investing activity what are the investing activity item interest on investment 0.5 Investment means long-term investment. On that, I got the income 0.5. Building two. So can I say this way? 0.50 and two. My collection is 2.5 crores. What is my payment for machinery? 10 crores. If I adjust, this is my minus money gone. So minus 10 and 2.5, 7.5 is the second category, which is nothing but investing activity. What about financing activity? The last category. I just write here financing cap uh, category. Financing uh, activities: share capital ten, security premium two. So that means when I issued the shares, I got premium also. Shares and the premium put together. Share capital and premium put together. My collection both together twelve crores. Whereas my payment towards preference share capital long term four and Debenture interest one point five. It means here twelve and five point five, six point five money gone. So still six point five is the net answer. Twelve crore collection, five point five crore payment, six point five. So here is it positive or negative? Negative. Net effect is negative. Please note signs are very important. Positive or negative, entire answer will change. So my operating eighteen. Investing seven point five negative, whereas financing activity six point five positive. Finally, eighteen minus seven point five plus six point five, I end up with seventeen as a net answer. Eighteen minus seven point five plus six point five. Is it positive or negative? Positive. So positive seventeen represents my increase in cash and cash equivalent. Positive means increase. Cash and cash equivalent is increased by seventeen. Is it right? What is the opening balance? Five. What is the closing balance? Twenty-two. Five plus and twenty-two. What is the difference? Seventeen is the difference. So that's how. How do you reconcile five seventeen? You got increase in cash and cash equivalent. For this, you have to add opening cash and bank balance. What is the opening cash and bank balance? Five. Seventeen plus five. What should be the closing balance? Seventeen plus five, twenty-two. Is it the same answer? Twenty-two. Yes, that's how you you reconcile it. At the end, you have to reconcile for cash and cash equivalent. So it means we have to take operating, we have to take investing, we have to take financing activity. That I have to summarize and I have to do a statement of cash flow. Whatever I have written, I have to do in a statement called cash flow statement. Let us prepare the cash flow statement for the same problem. For SLSP Limited, Siddhant Learning Solution Private Limited, just I worked out the cash from operating activity. Now our work is how do you prepare the cash flow statement? It is nothing but operating, investing, financing activity. All three you summarize in a statement called cash flow statement. Let us write this way. The format is company name. You have to write 
SLSP Siddhant Learning Solution Private Limited, leaving one line gap. You have to write cash flow statement for year ending 31st March 2018. Direct method, you have taken collections and less payment direct method as per accounting standard 3. Let us write one by one. A cash from operating activity as you worked out, as we worked out earlier, the answer was 18 crores. It is 18 rupees in crores, both rupees in crores. I have to, we have to consider cash from investing activity. As I said in this example, investing activity are long term assets, incomes and expense are right. Interest on investment, investment is a long term investment. Always if investments are not specified, it is long term, you got income out of it. Interest from investments. So, you have to take interest from investments amounting to rupees 0 0.50, it is a collection. And you know there is building, what does it mean to building, cash or bank to building means building gone out or sold out, you got money. So, sale of building, it is a receipt, sale of building amounting to rupees 2. So, you got 2.5 crores during the year due to investing activity. Looking on the credit set by machinery means machinery gone out, machinery you purchased, cash gone out. Entries machinery to cash or bank, machinery coming in, cash going out. So, I have to write purchase of machine, purchase of machine, how much crores worth? 10 crores. Students, the sign important, positive, positive money coming in here, source, that is gone out, so minus, you have to take the net effect, use calculator, plus 0.5, plus 2, plus 2, minus 10. 10 minus 2.5, 7.50. Not just, is it correct? Wrong. Sign is important. Positive or negative, important. So, negative 7.5. Now, I have to consider cash from financing activity or long term source of finance. First, I have share capital and I have security premium. Now, what does it mean? Bank to capital to security premium. We got money by issuing shares. So, I will write issue of shares at premium. We can show the computation as 10 and 2, 10 plus 2, 10 plus 2 which is equal to 12 or you can write issue of shares face value 10, security premium 2, 10 and 2 separately you can write. This is done. So, I have written both together. Next on the other side, so we will take the other side, this 1 and 2 I have taken here both together. So, it is uh, 10 plus 2 which is equal to 12. Looking at the other side here, we have preferential capital, we have debenture interest. Preferential capital credit means what? Cash goes out, preferential capital debited or you are debiting preferential capital to bank or to cash. It is redemption of preferentials. Simple, anything you have in the debit side, you got the money, anything is in the credit side, you paid the money. You paid for preferential means redemption of preferential which is worth rupees 4, means 4 crores. Similarly, the last one, debenture interest, debenture interest paid. Why do we take debenture? It is an expense, no correct. It is an expense related to what? Debenture. Debenture is a financing activity. <coughs> so, all put together, that is... Uh, 4 here, I have taken this 4, taken 1.5 here. So, together 12 minus 5.5 which is equal to 6.50. I have to consider A as investing operating activity. Now onwards, students please note all the problem when I say A it is operating, when I say B it is investing, when I say C it is financing. Do not add here, A plus B plus A, all three put together you have to add. We have to call that answer as this answer as net increase. If you get the summary of these three, this, this, this summary after adding, if you get negative, call decrease in cash and cash equivalents. Net increase or bracket decrease in cash and cash equivalent. What is summary we get here? 18 plus 6.5, 24.5 minus 7.5. That means your net answer is 17, which is positive. So, positive or negative is important, here it is positive. 
is increased. It means to say cash or cash equivalent is increased by 17. I did not write in brackets, I just rounded off. Okay. So, what is the opening balance 5? What is the closing balance 22? Is the difference or increase is 17? Yes. So, 5 plus 17, 22. So, what you have done is correct. Now, just like that you should not do. You should do the reconciliation here only. How do you reconcile? At opening cash and cash equivalents. What is the opening cash and cash equivalents? 5. 17 plus 5. You have to arrive the answer. Closing cash and cash equivalents 22 17 plus 5 22 closing balance also 22 like that we have to work it out students what is the summary quickly i will take in one short span we consider three activity operating investing financing are related to goods and expense and incomes related to the main service and main goods is operating long term assets related investing Long term source of finance related to financing activity. We apply direct method to work out your operating activity. Collections 50, less payments towards creditors, salary, selling expenses. From that, you get cash generated from operations, less taxes, extraordinary items. In this problem, there was no taxes, no extraordinary items, just left blank. So, you arrived the difference as 18. Investing activity, all three together, we take took the here 2 positive, 1 negative result into 7.5 7 that is outflow, net outflow. Financing activity 2 positive, 2 negative, 2 positive put together I have written here only which is 12 collections from the shares that is issue of shares at premium you got 12 and your payments are 4 and 1.5, 6.5. So, finally you arrive at 17 which is positive at opening you arrive at the closing. So, that is where the First pro the problem or example related to the cash from operating activity direct method and we also understood the cash flow statement. We are also and finally, we also understood how do you reconcile? What is the tallying here? Are we arranging at the closing cash and cash equivalent? Yes, then that answer is tallied. Now, let us look into the next type of problems.